WVTM 13 Live Doppler, your three minute advantage. Some high clouds arrived across the area this afternoon, so the sunset is not as pristine as it could be, but still pretty and warm showing up here and getting ready to happen in the area west of Vance in southeast Tuscaloosa County. Right now on the WVTM 13 Live Doppler, located in exactly the same place, find no rain out there. It is indeed dry. Back to the west of us, though, we find moisture beginning to build in southwest Mississippi and also Louisiana, a little bit more in the Florida panhandle. I do think it'll kind of come together tomorrow, so there's a chance we may deal with an afternoon shower tomorrow, probably a better chance starting Wednesday afternoon and continuing for days. It is 85 in Birmingham, 82 in Coleman, 85 in Tuscaloosa, 83 in Aniston. Starting to have that summery feel to it now, and tonight will too. It will not get that cool. Temperatures only in the low 80s at 7, 77 at 10. Overnight lows in the Magic City, probably upper 60s. Some of the outlying areas maybe getting down to about 65 or so, but it's going to be pretty warm tonight. All right, let's go down to the tropics here, and specifically the Bay of Campeche, the southern part of the Gulf of Mexico. It's still very broad and disorganized, but there's enough organization to it that the National Hurricane Center named this tropical depression number three this afternoon. Still pretty weak, peak winds of 30 miles per hour. It's going to meander around for a while, not making much progress at all, but it does have a lot of warm water to work with. So if it stays over the water, it's likely to strengthen. That remains to be seen. It's going to be very close to Central America for the next few days. In fact, this forecast track is crazy. It goes southwest, then all of a sudden at the last minute over the weekend begins to turn more northward. And that's why us here along the Gulf Coast have to be concerned about this storm and just keep an eye on it. That is five days away, and that track is likely to change a great deal before we get there. But keep in mind, there is a storm in the southern Gulf. It looks like eventually it wants to turn northward. Where it might wind up on the Gulf Coast remains to be seen, and obviously that's something we'll look at all week long. As we check out our short-term model forecast, a few showers south of Montgomery tonight, but they die off pretty quickly. We're left with some high clouds. Tomorrow should be an okay day. In the morning hours, probably rain-free. In the afternoon, like shown here, a few isolated showers. And that's the trend that will continue the rest of the week. Seven day forecast tomorrow then warm, a bit more humid too. 89 year high, maybe a shower tomorrow afternoon in a few spots, a little better chance of a thunderstorm come Wednesday afternoon. Same thing for Thursday, Friday, and for that matter this weekend, right into early next week. Highs near 90 through it all, lows near 70. And we'll keep an eye on the tropics for the second half of the weekend and early next week. You are watching WVTM 13 News.